Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Kafade and welcome back. Now, if you're all for supporting local, including local farmers, and enjoy a good dinner, well, the place to go is the Farm to Table Vine to Wine Dinner taking place at the Hyatt Regency Guam. Here's more. It's a wine dinner with a higher purpose. On Friday, June 17th, the lounge at the Hyatt Regency Guam will be transformed into a rustic scene straight out of Italy. It's all for farm to table and vine to wine, a dinner featuring some of the island's best produce and Silverado wines. The event is being sponsored by the Hyatt Regency Guam, Farm to Table Guam, and IWS. Hyatt Executive Chef Mirko Agostini. Farm job is no easy job. Uh, it's uh, kind of uh, hard, and especially here in Guam, you have the beautiful sun. Uh, it's really hot. Okay, to taking care about the plant, to to see the plant, they are healthy, they grow, they have the the, the, the aroma, they have the things. It's taking a passion, and from there we say we have to bring this passion alive. We need to bring this passion to people. According to Melanie Mendiola, project director for Farm to Table, collaborations such as this have been planned in the making, and she looks forward to more in the future. I think there's a lot of chefs who are really making a huge effort to, to work with your local farmers and to cooperate. It shows the customers, it shows the public that you're really committed to um, sourcing locally and to the sustainability of the island. And in addition to that, it's, it's extremely tasty and it's extremely, um, it's, it requires a lot of creativity. One of those chefs is Hyatt's chef de cuisine, Scott Robertson. Robertson will be crafting the menu for the evening using local produce with each course carefully paired with a Silverado wine. It requires a lot of creativity to do something different that's driven by the ingredients that you um, procure from, from your local farmers. And if you don't know, Chef Robertson is known for pushing boundaries and creating beautiful things outside the box. His mission is to redefine flavors inspired by the local produce. As for the farmers, they're very excited at the opportunity and they're certainly very um, willing to participate. And um, it's really just a matter, I think, of continuing opportunities like this, that the more, um, the more events like this occur, um, then the more the farmers become encouraged and empowered to do more. And then when they do more, they can then feed the chefs, right, more fresh ingredients, which then the chefs can then turn into really creative um, creations. I think it's beautiful when you work, uh, especially because a lot of the, it's one, one of the things that makes it be a beautiful partnership is that a lot of the farms on Guam are still very small and growing. And so when you keep the dinner small, it's almost, it's almost like you're having a, a dinner at your home or a farmer is hosting the dinner at his home. So you're not feeding 500 people, you're feeding 50 and you're feeding them um, with something that has been harvested that day or the day before. So it's not traveled, it's not been anywhere, it's really just from straight from the farm to the Hyatt, to the Hyatt table. If you would like to know more information about the event, you can contact the Hyatt Reach C Guam at 647-1234. You can also like Farm to Table Guam and Hyatt Reach C Guam on Facebook for more details. Pick by hand, pick by the love, look into the, is the right moment to pick this fruit, to pick this vegetable. Is, this is where is the passion is coming from these people. You're supporting your local farmer, you're having a beautiful meal in a beautiful location um, prepared by uh, highly skilled, highly trained, classical, classically trained chefs and um, and you're doing something really great for the island so uh, you really can't um, and, and you're enjoying fine wine from Silverado, right? So it's just, uh, I think it's going to be an outstanding event. Stick around, we get a recap of Summer of Sounds with Asha when In the Mix continues. <laughs> 